Welcome back to Roy Family Farms. I'm Chris, and uh, if you watched the previous video, you knew we, uh, you know, we had a little bit of a fly issue, which I have figured out exactly what uh, brought the flies. The guy that bought the property behind us and uh, beside us, he put about 30, 40 head out there, and uh, I didn't. I I knew that he did that. I didn't really pay too much attention to him. But uh, I, I took a look at them the other day, and they were just covered in flies. So that is what brought the flies to the farm. Uh, I mean, you always have some flies, but they were bad. But even in light of that, we've got them uh, pretty well under control now. I uh, We, we kind of went af after it at, from a couple angles. We started putting garlic powder in their food that we give them in the morning, uh, their, their little protein supplement food, and we made a homemade fly spray, which is composed of basil, rosemary, and peppermint essential oils, some olive oil, and some dish soap, and then the rest is water. We put that in a uh, gallon pump-up sprayer, the little piggies back there. They're doing good and happy, but you put that in a gallon pump-up sprayer and uh, you can spray probably about 10 feet. And so whenever I give them their food in the morning that I put, the, I sprinkle the garlic powder on, which seems to be helping really good with the face flies. But uh, you can spray them. They, they don't really care for it. Ribeye's cool with it. He doesn't, it really doesn't bug him, but Barrett is a, the bull, he's a big baby. And for an update with him, he's completely fine after that incident the other day. A little cut around his horn and everything healed up. I wasn't even able to spray any blue coat or anything on it, but it healed up fine. My biggest concern with that was just, uh, was just the, uh, it, it flies tried to lay eggs, laid eggs in there or anything, but it, it seems like it's doing good and, He's uh, back to, uh, I, I was going to say his friendly self, but he's never been the most friendly. He's not he's not unfriendly, but he, he doesn't like you really messing with him. You leave him alone, he leaves you alone. He's got a pretty good demeanor, but he, he, he doesn't want you to pet him. He's not like Heidi. And Ribeye's about kind of the same way. He's just a little more skittish. But I, th I think he realizes the fly spray actually helps. But yeah, this is just a quick update video on that. Um, we've got still, like always, plenty of stuff going on on the farm. The one pasture I've got almost situated. I ran, I, I uh, pulled all the barbed wire because all that was super loose. Pulled all that barbed wire out. Um, Reset some t-posts that were kind of loose in the ground ran new barbed wire and I just got to uh, put in a post in, where I'm gonna end up putting a gate connecting the The one pasture that I I got fenced in a I don't know was that about a month ago Connecting those two in together. I won't put a gate right away because They're expensive and I've been spending way too much money on farm stuff, but uh we just need uh, access for the cows and Bill to get uh, get fresh green grass and be able to rotate them around. But yeah, like I said, this is just a quick update video uh, on the uh, fly and bull injury situation. So he's doing good. Everything's going good. Uh, just just uh, plucking away, getting everything done we need done. But. Uh, if you like what you see here, please like, subscribe, and share this video. Until next time, stay free and God bless.